Any significant development in China and Taiwan issue is of great relevance for India and especially when US is involved in it. Hello everyone, I am Manas Srivastav and you are watching UPSC Essentials of the Indian Express and it's time for Issue at a Glance. Today at Issue at the Glance, we are going to talk about the Taiwan issue and India's stand on one China policy. Let us first know what you are going to learn from this video. Firstly, we will know why is this issue in news. Secondly, where is Taiwan geographically located? Third, what is the tussle between China and Taiwan? Fifth, what is one China principle and one China policy? Then we will know what is the US position and lastly what has been India's position. So let's begin by knowing why this issue of Taiwan is in news. On August 2nd, US House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi arrived in Taiwan. This triggered a fresh round of tension that risks pushing US and China's relation to a new low and brings into focus China's threat of using force to control the island. Nancy Pelosi has been a vocal critic of China over the years. Let's move on to the next question now and understand that where is Taiwan geographically located? Earlier known as Formosa, Taiwan is a tiny island off the east coast of China which is separated from the mainland China by the Taiwan Strait. It is a part of what is called the first island chain, a string of island nations or territories including Japan, South Korea and Philippines. Remember these are seen as pro-US. Taiwan is also located close to the South China Sea, a region where many East Asian countries have a contested claim. Now let's move to an important question and that is what is the tussle between China and Taiwan all about? So while China sees Taiwan as a breakaway province, Taiwan considers itself as independent. In fact, Taiwan has stood against China's reunification goal. Remember, it's only 15 countries, only 15 countries, most of them small islands which recognize Taiwan. Now, before going ahead, let us understand two important things here. First, what is one China principle and what is one China policy? So it is important to distinguish between one China principle and one China policy to understand the Taiwan issue. The People's Republic of China or PRC follows the one China principle which is a core belief that sees Taiwan as an inalienable part of China with its sole legitimate government in Beijing. The US acknowledges this position but not necessarily its validity. The US instead follows the one China policy, which means that PRC was and is the only China with no recognition for the Republic of China, which is ROC or Taiwan, as a separate sovereign entity. At the same time, the US refuses to give in to the PRC's demand to recognize Chinese sovereignty over Taiwan. It only acknowledges the Chinese position that Taiwan is a part of China. Here is an important historical tidbit. Warren Christopher, who was the Deputy US Secretary of State under President Jimmy Carter said, and I quote, the word acknowledge is determinative for the US. He told in a Senate hearing, when the Chinese attempted to change the word acknowledge into recognize. 
dear viewers us has stuck to this position ever since and use the strategic ambiguity that it creates to maintain the status quo and preserve stability in the Taiwan Strait. Let's move ahead and understand what is US position. So while US maintain ties with Taipei and sells weapons to it, it officially subscribes to PRC's One China policy where Taiwan does not exist as a separate entity. Now this position is premised on Beijing not to invade Taiwan. So it is this delicate diplomatic balance that Pelosi's visit may have disturbed. Just to remind all of you that on October 1st, 2021, during the 72nd anniversary celebration of PRC, China flew over 100 fighter jets into Taiwan Air Defense Identification Zone, setting off alarm bells. Every spike in China-Taiwan tension worsens the already strained US-China relations. Anything which happens internationally should also be understood from India's stand. So now let's look at this last question that why or what has been India's stand on this issue. Now you must understand that India does not have any formal diplomatic ties with Taiwan yet as it subscribed to the One China policy. India has an office in Taipei for diplomatic functions called India Taipei Association which is headed by a senior diplomat. Taiwan has the Taipei Economic and Cultural Center in New Delhi. Both were established in 1995. Their ties focus on commerce, culture and education. Now in their third decade, these have been deliberately kept low profile owing to China's sensitivities. For example, parliamentary delegation visits and legislature level dialogue have stopped since 2017. Around the time, the India-China border standoff happened in Doklam. But as its ties with China have come under stress of late, India has been playing up its tension with Taiwan. In 2020, after the Galwan clash, New Delhi hand-picked diplomat Gorang Lal Das then joined Secretary of the Americas in the Ministry of External Affairs to become its envoy in Taipei. Also, the Taiwan government is keen on expanding areas of cooperation with India as it is one of the priority countries for Taiwan's new southbound policy. So far, it's been largely an economic and people-to-people -people relationship. So that's all for today. Subscribe to Indian Express for more such videos. Also scan the QR code given at the end of the video so that you can make the best use of our UPSC initiatives. Aspirants UPSC Key and UPSC Essentials are two important initiatives of Indian Express which will help you in your UPSC preparation journey. So think smart, work hard, conquer your goals.